12 Winds Guide Rocket Rumble Edition. Let's get some fundamentals clear. Rocket Silo is a 7 elixir building that launches a massive rocket. 3 of that rocket would be enough to get the enemy's king tower to 24 HP so it's a viable win condition in itself. Which means there are two ways to win in this game mode and it's cycling rockets like a psychopath or spamming everything at the bridge without any rational thoughts behind whatever you're doing. I'll go with the cycle method in this video because it's more consistent and because it's the intended way to play this challenge. The main strategy is to cycle 3 rockets as fast as you can so we have 4 1 elixir cards to do so. You might be thinking well that's RNG with the starting hand or whatever. No. I've been dominating in this game mode very consistently, plus I believe the rocket is always in your starting hand. The first two rockets don't really need to be dropped as soon as possible, so if your game lags a tiny bit, it doesn't matter as much. Just make sure you're not leaking elixir. Because the third rocket will be locked behind low elixir, not the speed of your cycle, so you and your opponent will get it exactly on the same time regardless. Unless you're using bats for cycling like this dude. Seriously though, what is this? The first rocket, I suggest you place it on the inner side of the arena, so it's less likely for them to break it as you don't know if your opponent is playing a cycle deck or a bridge rush deck. The final rocket against a cycle player should be played literally on the bridge, as it would mean there is less time travel, so it would connect first before your opponent's rocket. This did cause some issues against a couple of weirdos doing a sudden ambush on me, but in reality I was playing the party mode. If someone is using 3 musketeers, they are not gonna make it far in the challenge. Some people might try to stop your rocket with the monk, which is possible, but is a foolish mistake. Theoretically, you could tornado the monk away, which would give you an elixir advantage while also damaging the king tower, so you don't have to worry about the 24 HP at the end. But there are some anti-nado positions that screwed me up, so I stopped using nado and picked up freeze instead because it's way more consistent. The way you wanna play? is to always hover your freeze on the king tower when the first two rockets are about to hit it. Freezing the monk will set them back in terms of cycle while also giving you both the rocket damage and the freeze damage which is why the monk is a bad idea in this game mode. One trick I like doing is placing a one elixir card in the back when their rocket is shooting to try and get them to freeze thinking it's a monk. For the third rocket, the time it takes for it to shoot doesn't generate enough elixir to allow a monk to be placed in time. Which is why freeze in the third rocket phase is supposed to be used to freeze the enemy rocket instead. So about the timing, the freeze doesn't affect the preparation phase of the rocket so freezing early will have no effects at all. However, it only stops the actual shooting of the rocket so try to stop it as late as possible. Just don't be too late like this dude. <laughs> Besides, on offense, Freeze is also great on defense, as it here saved my life against that wizard he played to break my bridge rocket. Or here, I was able to buy some time for my rocket, which won me the game. Now, when it comes down to both of you freezing the rocket at the same time, the winner will be the one with the best small spell. Another example is Zap versus Snowball since travel time is a thing and makes a difference so we conclude that Zap is the best spell as a finisher. The final card in this deck is Evolution Wizard which is something you don't want to ever play against another Rocket Cycle player. However, he shines against bridge spam people. The strategy of spamming someone when they are down 7 elixir is definitely something people picked up in this challenge, especially since that push can also take out the rocket. Kinda like a 2 birds 1 stone situation. But Wizard is able to stop most beatdown pushes on his own with little to no support from your cycle cards. He is the key defensive card that without this whole rocket cycle thing would just not work against bridge spam playstyles. And if you feel you are in a tough situation, Freeze does synergize well with the wizard so it's useful in both matchups. Against bridge rush players, you don't want to always spam the rocket as soon as it's ready. Instead, it's preferable if you played it when you have 10 elixir so you are more than ready for whatever stuff they will throw at your face. Be extra careful if you lose one of your towers as it makes your rocket very exposed and extremely vulnerable. That's the final deck and good luck on the challenge my dude. Holy crap this game mode sucks so bad I cannot even fathom how terrible it is. I genuinely wish you best of luck in the challenge. You're gonna need it my dude.